Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. Step into your divine authority and reign with power. In Manifesting Kingdom Authority, Apostle Joshua Selman reveals how to unlock your spiritual dominion. Discover the keys to harnessing God's authority through scripture and revelation. Learn how to stand strong and unyielding in the face of adversity. Embrace your role as a kingdom ambassador and transform your world, empowering you to manifest the authority of God's kingdom. Even if it's a mistake, you have to face it. But people can take them by their word and say, you said this. May you get to a point where the realm of the spirit respects your words. That when you tell a demon spirit, go, you really mean go. You are not just saying go to mean I am afraid. For I am a man under authority. I say unto one, go, and he goeth. I say unto one, come, and he comes. I say unto one, do this, and he does it. Jesus, you are also a man under authority. Speak the word only, verse 8. Speak the word only. Speak the word only. Release your power by speaking the word. Manifest your authority by speaking the word. I've seen the power of God a bit in my life and I am amazed how things can become quiet and organized until faith-filled words begin to come. That someone can remain sick, the oppressed can remain bound. Everything can happen like that. But when the Rima word comes from the throne, immediately it begins to address the issues of concern and you find out someone will tell you the pain is gone can't feel it again that you send words ahead of people listen do you know that if you come to church and live with words it's like a man who went to fish and left with a net full of fish there are souvenirs, spiritual souvenirs that you carry after every service. But because many of us do not value words, we throw them away. That word I've heard, ah, it's nice. And we throw them away and we go back home empty. Nothing to run with. Listen, let me tell you the truth. When I studied this, I found afresh again the secrets of our fathers in the gospel. They were men who respected and they still respect words. Are we together? So our father and the Lord, for instance, Baba Debo will say, there's someone here. The Lord said, I should tell you, by so, 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 and so, and you hear people shouting amen. Sometimes you see them shout amen like it does not make sense until you see what follows. Because God confirms the counsel of his messengers. If it is God that has inspired what you are saying, inspired by the word of God, the Lord walks with you confirming the words with power. Listen to me. If you are a man of God here, I want you to listen very carefully. If the only thing you bring to the altar is an intelligent lecture, people are going to be frustrated. End time ministry is power ministry. And I've defined for you power. It's, there are many people who fall down and stand up and there was no power that happened there that as you speak to men the words come with such an energy it penetrates to the physical realm goes to the realm of the spirit begins to correct things in their lives they get up and walk out of church and they return back with testimonies pastor said this this man of god said this he said to me you are blessed now do you know in church when we are blessing people and we say in the name of Jesus, people just say amen. But the truth is that they have mastered our words not coming to pass. It's just that they want to be polite on us. But the truth is that they don't believe it. When we say in the name of Jesus, you are blessed. I say, amen. Amen in Jesus' name. When those words really come to pass, 
you will crave it if you can't find the man of god you will listen to that message again and shout amen with the same energy you use while you were in church my commitment as a man of god is to keep staying with god enriching myself with his presence growing in the word and getting to a point where like samuel my words will not fall to the ground that if i stretch my hands and i speak over you and say let the gates open that truly the realm of the spirit will honor those words and you will see the gates open you know how much of a blessing you will be when you are like that oh kings will entreat your favor and they will say like jesus speak the word only so we are in a situation right now can you speak the word only you are about to board a flight and they tell you someone's life is collapsing and you say in the name of jesus you remember this sermon i'm a life-giving spirit that is a negative situation in the mighty name of jesus i decree and declare that the lord sends helpers of destiny and as soon as that call is over someone just calls and says i don't know but i just felt like calling you nobody feels like calling they are it's a programming in the spirit felt like calling you in this wicked world no sir Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength and your sight. The light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. And the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright. Listen, I raised that song because someone you came to church at a level in the spirit but you do not even know what is happening to you there is an ascendance in the spirit you will go back to that meeting you will go back to that crusade you will go back to that prayer meeting and the only thing you will see is fire like you have never seen before such an effulgence of power that you will tell the sick in the name of jesus christ be healed and you will think they are lying i checked it the issue of blood is gone I checked it the migraine is gone the medical verdict has been changed then you don't just brag you remember my lecture the kingdom has come that you are manifesting superior authority do you know you get to a point where you gain mastery huh you gain mastery that you have invested words like an atmosphere to a point that is not only your mouth that speaks even your atmosphere speaks when you step into a place without you opening your mouth the words that you have invested will keep creating changes that's why you can see that someone will step into a place and without actively opening his mouth certain things begin to happen and i'm not just talking of falling down again and standing up I'm talking of genuine changes I made a covenant with God and I I still keep praying till now that I will never that nobody should meet me twice twice to be blessed twice it's a journey but it's my commitment that I get to a point where if I meet you once under God and I actually speak to you you can go back rejoicing um, your hunger can take you there listen to my teaching come up here hunger and thirst part one when men become hungry and thirsty they can press into the things of God listen don't allow anybody make you camp around spiritual mediocrity there are virgin dimensions in the spirit you can press onto and carry power and demonstrate genuine authority upon the earth not theoretical authority not saying things and shouting and making noise potent power with results following if you had any prayer group here any prophetic ministry any prayer ministry any evangelical ministry any apostolic ministry any kind of ministry this message is more important for you go back and flog it and say powerless ministry must die in my life powerless ministry must die
I. I can't come and be wasting the time of God's people. Oh God will do it. Oh God will lift you. Oh God shout amen. And at the end of it, grace after grace. The end time church is hungry and desperate. And if you will not be a transmuter of life, I tell you, a time will come, you will be frustrated. Did you hear what I said? The cry for genuine, to walk in genuine authority is a cry that we must embrace. Yesterday, tears were rolling out of my eyes. I was watching a lot of videos, materials, just in preparation for this. And I watched one of the videos of Maurice Rulo Pastor. And Maurice Rulo made a statement that touched me. I watched that man and he said a lot of things. And you know, the kind, the palpable, even from the teaching. It was not like he was shouting. But my God, you will know that this man has an experience with God. And he was not just speaking theory. I listened to Reinhard Bonke. I listened to T.L. Osborne. I listened to A.A. Allen. I listened to many of these fathers of faith. At the end of it, I just got down my knees. I said, Lord, help us, help us. I'm not discouraged, but help us. Do something and please do it fast. Do something and please do it fast. Let us carry something we can serve the nations without shame. Let us carry a God factor we can transport to the nation. Like Nigeria found oil and their lives changed. Like other nations find, may we find genuine power that you can, as you travel in the plane, going from nation to nation, you are rejoicing once you arrived here. You begin to be happy for the people, not because of you. The treasure is in an earthen vessel, but let make sure Sure there is treasure there don't just carry the vessel make sure the treasure is there make sure the treasure is there that when you lay hands on someone you are not just laying empty hands as that hand comes glory comes with it power comes with it Sign in the name of Jesus, I speak over you. May my God rewrite your story. May my God lift you. And you are not just speaking empty words. The realm of the spirit is what is really shouting that amen. That man stands up and you are programmed a climate of favor, a climate of grace, a climate of victory. The person goes back to the same person who was oppressing him. And he says, I don't know what, but the Spirit of God says you should just stay in the house. Don't pay rent again. Stay until the day you have your own house. Then he returns back to you and says, what happened? You tell him, let me explain to you. There are things men cannot do, but there are things the power of God can do. Words. Words. Don't be careless with your words. Don't speak empty words. You are, you are demeaning yourself in the spirit. Don't cheapen words. Don't join baseless childish arguments. You are draining yourself in the spirit. Are we together? Let your words be weighty. Let your words be heavy. That when you open your mouth to speak. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be healed. You speak over people as they lift their hands shouting amen. Let it not just be that it's just church ritual, but that they are actually receiving something. Do you know, I've programmed my understanding such that every time I speak to people, it's not that it's in a vision, my imagination. I always see something resting on people as I speak to them. I'm not talking of visions. There are times I can see, but whether or not I have primed my imagination that every time I open up my mouth to speak prophetic words of blessings, I have trained my mind to just see, imagine like, like dew just resting on people coming from there. So everyone is carrying his own as you are living. And only God knows the possibilities that are contained therein. For a man of God, you came here weak. Maybe you traveled from so far and you came weak. End time ministry cannot be done without power. The wisdom of God is there. But let me tell you, the forces that stop God's program, not just the demonic arsenals, the deterioration that has come to this system by reason of the fallen nature, God is looking for life-giving spirits that he can find one 
and you become a giver of life everywhere you go I told you that life does not just mean being alive alone there are many people who are alive but they don't have life did you hear what I said many people are alive but they don't have life life means ease life means whatever makes your life dignified life means whatever reflects and reveals God someone comes to shake your hand as a pastor and says sir can I give you a handshake and as you shake them you release that hand that's how that man's trouble has fallen to the ground that's what, how that man's sorrow has fallen to the ground. That's how disfavor has fallen to the ground. You have opened him to a new chapter. You see, the thing about men is that by the time they receive genuine transformation, they know where it happened. They will come back. The woman with the issue of blood had most likely been touching people, but she knew that when she touched Jesus, here's what she said, that virtue, virtue, Jesus felt virtue leaving him. The woman felt something happening to her and that the issue of her blood had stayed. Let's wrap up. What is the assignment of power and authority? Write this down. What is the assignment of power and authority? Four scriptures. John 1, 6 and 7. What is the assignment of power? What is the assignment of authority in the kingdom? There was a man, the Bible says, sent from God, whose name was John. Verse 7, the same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. Take note of that statement, that all men through him might believe. John chapter 20, 30 and 31, John 20, 30 and 31 and many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book, he says but these are written, these miraculous manifestations of his power they have been documented that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ the Son of God and that in believing ye might have life through his name. Acts chapter 4 and verse 33. The assignment of power. The assignment of kingdom authority. And with great power. Gave the apostles witness. Of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Matthew 6 and verse 10. Final scripture. Matthew 6 and verse 10. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be enforced in earth as it is in heaven there are two major assignments of kingdom authority two major assignments of power number one to give witness to the lordship of jesus bringing many to salvation the first assignment of kingdom authority the first assignment of power in the kingdom is to give witness to the lordship of jesus bringing many by that witness to salvation to bring wit witness to the lordship of jesus bringing many to salvation are you ready okay let me give you three two to live a victorious christian life on earth while serving the purposes of the kingdom to live a victorious christian life the second assignment of power and authority to live a victorious christian life on earth while serving the purposes of the kingdom god does not want you and i to serve the purpose of the kingdom living a defeated life he wants us to excel he wants us to walk in victory now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph thanks be to god which giveth us the victory and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith to live a victorious christian life on earth while serving the purposes of the kingdom the final assignment of power is to advance the course of the kingdom to advance god's agenda upon the earth to advance the course of the kingdom to advance god's agenda upon the earth 
one last time the assignment of kingdom authority and power to give witness to the lordship of jesus bringing many not few many to salvation number two to live a victorious life christian life on earth while serving the purposes of the kingdom and number three to advance the course of the kingdom god's agenda upon the earth so power is connected to giving witness witness that leads to salvation power is connected to living a victorious life and power is connected to kingdom advance kingdom come anything that is within this jurisdiction is the assignment of power ladies and gentlemen listen to me very carefully the days that are before us right now are days that will require walking and manifesting in kingdom authority darkness looms across the horizon moving from nation to nation iniquity has increased wickedness has increased there, there is no imagination conceivable that the heart of man has not fabricated and satan has unleashed all kinds of arsenals against the saints whether it is health you see all kinds of sicknesses now sicknesses that did not used to be there now there are sicknesses that we used to know with only old people right now you find teenagers hell for you every kind of evil that satan can find he will launch it against the saints but thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph and that happens through the ministry of power as for me and as for koinonia i've made up my mind under god that we will be a people manifesting kingdom authority we will be a people manifesting power walking in genuine dominion not just talking about it not just preaching about it but demonstrating the living presence of the christ to our world it's a journey and we will keep pressing one step after the other while motivating as many to join in this journey of emergence this journey of becoming this journey of empowerment that our gospel if powerless will not do much for the kingdom our christian advice venture if powerless will not do much for the kingdom there are sick people around our world there are oppressed people around our world not all of them will come for koinonia but all of them are in need of the power of god therefore everyone who has converged here and the many following online god is counting on you to be an agent a manifestation of his power reaching where my hands cannot reach reaching where our sermons cannot reach the most important thing is that that the power of god be superimposed across every life every family every situation that the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ that when we call him king of kings let it not be a vain title let it be a title that is justified by the emergence of a people of power and this has nothing to do with being in ministry there are various ways the power of God can be made manifest in and through your life now let me say this before we wrap up I want you to listen very carefully I forgot to say this at the start of the sermon let me just use the opportunity to say this and then we'll wrap up thank you very much for appreciating me on my birthday my birthday is on Tuesday it's an honor to be alive and um, there will be a broadcast here on Tuesday so Tuesday 10 a.m. in the morning everyone is invited hallelujah please everyone would have a brief service for about an hour or so a broadcast here 10 a.m. on the dot hallelujah so everyone please connect across the globe then immediately after the broadcast we're going to be distributing rice 
to about um, one to two thousand people outside <laughs> hallelujah just in honor just to give i i completely forgot and i am glad that um so we are focusing on widows orphans less privileged please call everyone once we exhaust the number we just tell everybody we're sorry but make sure that no single bag of rice is wasted hallelujah it will be done right outside here we have people who will organize themselves so abuja listen you don't have to travel from anywhere to come and get you can agree with those there are enough people 2000 is not so much but at least is something that we can do praise god so immediately the broadcast starts on by 10 everybody make sure you are around 10 on the dot all workers take note and once we are done maybe 11 11 30 then there will be distribution of rice please if you are coming make sure you are ready to behave yourself no stampeding no misbehavior is still the house of god outside praise god and for those of you who you have loved ones that this can make a difference to please let them come and there will be a system of arranging everyone we hope that we'll do our best just outside we'll do that very fast we'll bag the rice and just give them just in honor to say thank you and to say i love you the birthday broadcast thank you thank you it's very important because to me it is usually my gift to the body of christ i have the opportunity to share a few perspectives and to speak prophetic blessings over the koinonia global family and then extending to as many who are connected so please make sure 10 on the dot is going to be live it will be aired on our platforms make sure you take advantage of it and immediately afterwards we'll head outside to do the distribution now uh, i'm embarrassed to say this but let me just say this i know that uh, i'm not somebody who likes putting people under pressure at all for things like birthdays if i have my way i always will run away and then when we're done i come back but i know that people usually come with gifts and whatever there's only so much i can't promise that everybody will be able to see me to say thank you don't be offended if for any reason you are not able to see me we'll just delegate people who can receive all those gifts and speak blessings and um, whilst i'm here for as many who are here we can be fine we can exchange pleasantries but afterwards from this place all other gifts or whatever please you would do it at the daughters of abraham doa our other auditorium there will be people waiting there and they'll wait up until 4 p.m when the prayer department starts their own and then prayer department will start and then school of ministry will have their own in the evening so it's a it's, it's a full day so once we leave this place all other any givings whatever gifts and the rest please you can take it there and even if you don't see me there there'll be people designated just believe that they have been mandated to speak blessings upon you but let me encourage you don't put yourself under any kind of pressure whatsoever hallelujah your prayer for me is your greatest gift you're listening to this kind of thing i'm teaching and walking in it is the greatest birthday gift you can give me that your life becomes an expression of these truths that we're teaching hallelujah i had to interrupt my message to just bring that particularly because of the welfare so please um make sure that the widows and the less privileged of course and all those who have that need but we're going to give priority to less privileged families and widows you can come and you'll be arranged and organized just outside of this auditorium and immediately after the broadcast there will be people who have been trained outside and they'll help manage whatever you get no matter how little please accept it with love from me but really accept it with love from jesus because he's the one who has given this life and he's the one who has given the privilege to be able to do what we have to do is that fine can we rise up to pray now please rise up thank you again hold hands with someone by your left and right and pray one simple prayer but let it be faith-filled coming from your heart father i desire to walk in power i desire to walk in authority go ahead and pray and grace me with power from on high grant me the revelation and the encounter 
that brings me into the experience of authority someone pray let powerlessness be eroded from my life eroded from my ministry eroded from my business eroded from my kingdom adventure someone is praying i desire to be endued with power genuine power genuine kingdom power power for signs for wonders powers to correct anomalies in the lives of people power that enables me to be a transmuter of life 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 that my world becomes a better place because i'm a christian my world becomes a more glorious place because i am a child of god someone pray let it be from the depth of your heart man of god pray it's a new level in your ministry prophet pray apostle pray pastor pray teacher pray missionary pray businessman pray it's a new season in the name of jesus i will not just talk power i will walk in the experience of power it will be evident in my life that I have an experience with God. An experience that has translated to power. I will walk conscious of the authority that I have in Christ. Influencing circumstances over my life and the life of as many. Bringing glory to the name of the Lord. Bearing great witness to the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus name I pray. I speak over your life in a name that is above all names standing in partnership with every grace in this house I decree and declare that dimensions of power and authority that are until now virgin dimensions for you dimensions you have not stepped into I pray for you from the depth of my heart begin to walk in them now you will speak and your words will no longer be empty I say to you again, you will speak and your words will no longer be empty. You will speak and create realities in the lives of people. You will speak and cast out devils from the lives of people. You will speak and correct negative circumstances in the lives of people. You will speak and release life to as many. In the name of Jesus. Where there is darkness, as soon as you step in there, let there be light. Where there is death, as soon as you step in there, in the name of Jesus, let there be resurrection. Where there is poverty and limitation, as soon as you step in there, let there be abundance. In the name of Jesus Christ. For your sake, people around you will not be weak. For your sake, the weak will become strong. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you and I call you life-giving spirits. In ministry, you are a life-giving spirit. In business, you are a life-giving spirit. In career, you are a life-giving spirit. As a parent, you are a life-giving spirit. In the name of Jesus, and everything that looks like death and weakness in your life, I drive it far from you. Everything that looks like shame and reproach, I drive it far from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do not forget that next week we'll have the joy of celebrating our miracle service for the month of June. Listen to me. Make sure you invite everyone, not just everyone who wants to come to church, but everyone who is in need of a touch from God. Don't leave anyone behind who needs a touch from God. Hallelujah. The altar call now. You need Jesus wherever you are. Jesus is calling you. He's been speaking to you through my lips. Lend me your attention, please. You are in this place and he's telling you that it's time to make it right with him. You want to make your ways right with Jesus for the first time? Or you felt the need while hearing me speak to rededicate your life to Jesus? Wherever you are, I'm going to count one to five. Unashamedly, I want you to leave your seat and join this gentleman who has come to the front here already. Wherever you are, whether you are across the balcony 
all the overflows outside and the many who have fallen online. I begin my counting one to five. Let me request that you come stand before me. One, let's celebrate them as they come. Two, celebrate someone who is coming to Jesus. Come. 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 Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Celebrate them. Come to Jesus. He is able to give you a new beginning. He is able to give you a new beginning. Did you hear me? He is able to give you a new beginning. Three, young and old, male and female, come to Jesus. Four, if you're coming from outside, please join them very quickly. Very quickly. Very quickly. In Jesus' name. Now, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you for the courage to come and stand before Jesus. The Bible declares that as many who will come to him, look at me, please come. He will in no wise cast away. You have come declaring his lordship. I want you to know that this is a very serious call. Lift your right hand if you can as a sign of surrender. And please say this after me as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. Right now, I receive your life into my spirit. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I'm a child of God. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Please keep your beautiful hands. Father, thank you for this once. They have come declaring your lordship over their lives. And I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. I decree and declare that this is a new beginning for you. I call you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And I declare that you go forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please do me a favor. May I request that you move to my right. That will be your left. There are counselors who will have a very quick word with you and a prayer with you. And afterwards you are back to your seat. Let's honor them as they go. Please. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor, thank you so much again, you and your dear wife. We really honor your presence. Let's give them a big God bless you. And for everyone who's taken the time, particularly those who have traveled coming in from far and near, we really honor your presence. Let me speak the final blessing over your life and we're done. Please stand. Amen. 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 Let this week beginning be the best week you've had yet. I said let it be the best week you've had yet. Let favor go before you. Let grace go before you. Let mercy go before you. It will be good news from Sunday to Sunday. I say it again, it will be good news from Sunday to Sunday. I declare that no weapon fashioned against you will prosper and that every tongue that rises up against you will go down for your sake. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your love for Jesus remains on fire. Your passion for the word remains on fire. Your passion for prayer remains on fire. In the name of Jesus, I call you a life-giving spirit. Through your hands, many will come to Jesus. Through your words, many will be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, the good news you've been waiting for, may it manifest this week. I say it again, the good news you've been praying for, may it manifest this week. In the name of Jesus, men will run over themselves to help you. In the name of Jesus, go in peace and be led forth with joy. For in Jesus' name we pray. Together let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. See you on Tuesday. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. Dot in your precious name. Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.